Welcome to Paris Salad Geek. I'm Susie Diaz. I'm Miguel Guerra. And it's time, yet again, to get your geek on. <laughs> and this is part two of our inking series. So please hurry up and get, get yourself inked up. Yeah, you can follow the link to part one. And parts three and four will be available soon. So we hope you enjoy this episode. Mm -hmm. And it's time to get your geek on. style is that mood and I don't think that a ghost story would would work well with an open style and I felt that heavy black is something that is very reminiscent of the old school comics EC or even Hellboy and that's why I chose heavy black for this story and it was a blast and as a matter of fact I don't think if it was if I wasn't working on the story I wouldn't have done all that stuff for Inktober Right, right. Oh, yeah, all your horror drawings. All my horror mm -hmm. drawings, yeah. I very much This got does me remind there. me an Edgar Allan Poe sort of. It does give this traditional ink etch thing to me. Mm -hmm. That's what pops into my mind when I see this. Uh, so it, it reminds me of old fashioned kind of horror stories or film noir with the heavy dark shadow. Yeah, which is what uh, influenced a lot of those guys to begin with. Yeah, that's true. Uh, a lot of them are going to the movie theater seeing that stuff. I grew up on those Vincent Price movies. Yeah. I love uh, film noir. I think that when it comes to uh, shadow and shade and all that. Yes, um, that's a, those are great for lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to color, I think that the old pastel colors that they used in a lot of those Vincent Price movies, like the Raven and stuff, there's just something that's so unique to that period. <laughs> uh, instead of just using like a pure blue filter or green filter with just a few highlights of a few colors, there's something rich and lush about I, I, it. Yeah, sorry, I'm, good. I'm going back to the inking. Mm -hmm. Another advantage, you can zoom in as much as you want. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's like you're built-in little magnifying glass. Yes, which is good for my eyes. And the other thing is to keep in mind, if you are using Manga Studio, uh, don't zoom in like that, that close. I mean, you well, can. You can. you can. You might have a lot of But the of little detail. details that you put in it in there might not even be seen in the print. Right. So well, this is a will... heavy, heavy ink, heavy black. Right. That another story could be very subtle with small textures. No. It's the tool. Oh, right. now, here, uh, something to keep in mind, something I'm doing. I'm working on the eye, or I was telling you. One of the cool things uh, I like so much about clip art or manga studio things. We'll say digital inking, because it depends inking. on the program. But I'll, I'll say, because, you know, I'll give a shout out to Smith Micro on this. Smith Micro. Usually when you're doing anything to do with inking or coloring or anything in Photoshop, you only have the option of the two colors. You see the black and the white. Here, you actually have the option to use the actual transparency. So you're erasing it in a very clever way where you're taking it. I mean, you could use the eraser tool. I'm not following you. What do you mean? Well, you see those. There's two boxes. There's the black and the white uh, over in your toolbox. Okay, so on the left-hand side, mm -hmm. on the tool bar, that vertical down the left side, right. you have a black box and a white box. Right. Okay. Right underneath it. You have oh, transparent. transparent. Okay. So I like to use because I mean you can use the erasers on this, and I do from time to time when it's like something really there. Big. You just clicked on it, right? Okay. And then you can use it as a way to carve out the black without using white. So it, does it allow you to erase? It allows you to yeah use the transparency, which is actually the eraser, hmm. and I use it with my uh, croquil or mapping pen. Sorry, croquil. <laughs> So if you have black, you click on transparency, you can basically erase. Erase. Make what was black transparent. Yeah. Okay, cool. A empty it out, which is, I, I so dig that. I, yeah, that's me, cool. It makes... Anything that allows me to erase, I love. Yeah. I mean, you can use the eraser tools, but I find that the eraser tools, you can't use the mapping pen. So oh, it's not okay. as sharp, in my view, okay. as using the uh, transparency. Good tip. Mm -hmm. Cool tip. Mm-hmm. We did tell you that the uh, today's episode was brought to you by the letter I. That's right. For inking. 